to draw a bathtub there's a different way but one way will be to start with a cube shift a and in polygon scale it to the, the shape that we need so like this select the bottom polygon scale it more and now we're going to start by doing the the arching so we're going to go here there and go bevel B uh, we don't want too many because we'll tab it at the end so I think two or three is already enough like that then we can select the top B shift click to redo a bevel and here careful sometimes when you do this it'll uh, crisscross so don't want to do that so stop before it crisscross and switch to the scale that's fine with the green yeah looks good now we can add um, loops here so I could go edge add loop both sides to break the middle Q and then we could uh, select those polygons with middle click move them down to give it a bit of a twist scale them to make it more 3D uh, and now we could even check how it looks in tabs so it still doesn't look good because we need to have more lines here so what we can do is go in add loop and check both sides and uh, we could put a loop here especially if you want to do um, a little uh, edge here and uh, we could do the same one on the bottom here and uh, maybe here we'll need some um, some lines so we could go to keep the shape polygon B and just do this and I will maintain we could almost do that twice to make sure it maintained that shape well uh, so now if I go tab it's better this is to sharp so we can go here and go L and bevel it but before doing this I'm gonna add my edge so L B and look we could push it inward or outward here I want to go outward and if you want it sharp you can do another B that should give you something pretty sharp you see and we could do something similar in the bottom um, B sorry L first B and maybe here we'll go inward a bit just a hair I think I went too much shift click so let's try this yeah that's pretty good uh, if you want the top to be sharp you can always grab this L and uh, sorry tab grab those and go L and you could bevel this you could go B here so now if you go it'll be much sharper so that's completely up to you uh, at rendering time if you need um, more uh, subdivision it's here on the surface you will have to boost this one to 4 so when you go F8 uh, it'll be way smoother in the rendering and if you want to quickly add uh, a little floor for the shadow plane move it down edge Z click and that will do a good job B to bevel everything a little bit and now if you go tab you got a little uh, floor that can hold it something like this okay